so hello everyone. Welcome to our latest episode of the Lansi Roundtable. Today, we will focus on how the Chengdu Chongqing Urban Agglomeration supports the development of the fourth pole of China's green economy. Many people know that China has three city groups as economic growth poles, and those are the Beijing Tianjin Hebei region, the Yangtze River Delta, and the Guangdong Hong Kong Macau Greater Bay Area. With the fourth pole of the Chengdu Chongqing Economic Circle, China will see a balanced and coordinated regional development, relying on the shared resources and green transformation of Chengdu and Chongqing. So we are more than excited and honored to bring our three experts in different industry sectors to our audience today, and they have all contributed to China's green development path in their respective fields. Without further ado, let's invite them to do a short introduction. Let's start with Mr. Mao. Good morning, everyone. My name is Harold Mao. I am a junction professor in UBC and working on CCUS technology for many years. Thanks for having me here.、Uh, hi, everyone. I'm Gavin from Cushman Wakefield. We are a global consulting and professional service firm. Hello, everyone.、Uh, good morning.、Uh, I'm Zhang Ling. I work for Southwest Aluminium Group Corporation Limited. I'm the general manager of import and export division. Thank you all. That's definitely a good start of this whole discussion. So, as we all know, that、um, China is a pioneer of green development worldwide and has made a lot of achievements. It strives to pick carbon dioxide emissions before 2030 and achieve carbon neutrality before 2060. I would like to get a little bit deeper on the tech side because we just talk about、um, the carbon capture、um, conversion technology. So,、um, for this kind of painting technology, Dr. Mao, how this technology can、um, contribute to the green development of the Chengdu Chongqing Economic Circle and relying on characteristic industries, policies, and resources in both regions? Great questions. So,、uh, for China, as everybody knows. We have less oil and gas. Coal-fired power plant in China was the major, probably around about sixty, seventy percent of energy supply. To my knowledge, the in Sichuan and Chongqing, there is almost a hundred coal-fired power plants. Every power plant will produce more than two million tons of CO2. So, this is very important for Sichuan Chongqing economic. But in the meantime, the CO two emission is another disadvantage for this. That's the reason Ministry of Technology would like to have Chongqing Sichuan here in carbon emission control technology. Currently, there is many technology which are able to reduce carbon. However, it's not the green technology、mm-hmm. because all those technology,、mm-hmm. its operating cost is very high, and it's not sustainable. What means sustainable? That means operating cost has to be controllable,、mm-hmm. even profitable, if possible. Second. The technology is not only able to control CO2, also it has to be green, has to be carbon negative. So when you capture the CO2, you need to make a CO2 into carbon negative industrial chemicals, which chemical not only going to profit China industry, also will produce some profit. Which able to allow the carbon capture system to be sustainable.、Mm-hmm. That's definitely a comprehensive like scope of answer.、Um, Dr. Mao just helped us to answer it, and、um, and I'm glad that you mentioned about the coal plants and and you know、um, it's kind of like changing our re- revolutionary like ideas about how we can live with carbon. You know, k- kind of like transfer this.、Um, Carbon emissions into useful substances that、yeah. we can live with them, and we、mm-hmm. can utilize them in a more effective、e- way. Exactly. Through this, we could our ultimate goal down here using this t- technology to balancing CO two emission 
on the earth. So I wonder that um, how this kind of like pioneering of technology application in Chengdu, Chongqing can bring benefits to the globe. So Sichuan already imported this demo technology, membrane technology to do the trial test on this. Mm -hmm. So this is China trying to absorb the foreign international technology to this area. We are currently working on a demo project in Wanzhou, Chongqing. So if we get this demo project to show not only China, we can show internationally, saying Chongqing already able to have this new advanced technology on carbon capture, show Chongqing on carbon technology, you know, to lead the, lead the country, uh, leading the international uh, society. Also, this technology, as mentioned, will bring uh, economic profit to the industry in this region. Mm -hmm. Thank yeah. you. And do you think that can also, by using this type of technology, kind of like influence on other Western provinces, um, like such as Gansu province or Yunnan mm -hmm. province? Oh, yeah, definitely. Because in the West, I think there is a lot of uh, results of coal. If they can control or balance or, or, or neutrality of the, the CO2 emission, they're definitely going to be able to extend the power plant life, reduce the energy costs overall to the industry. Mm -hmm. And the other province, it definitely, you know, it, it's the, uh, um, going to benefit from, from this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, um, Dr. Mao. So um, it just kind of like reminds me that how this t uh, this kind of type of technology can be applied to different industries in and different fields. So I wonder that um, for Gavin. So um, so I guess that you after hearing about what Mr. Uh, what Dr. Mao just said. So I wonder mm -hmm. if this kind of technology can be applied to real estate industry as we see that it's definitely a great potential um, for like green development in this area. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Uh, thanks for Dr. Mao's sharing of the latest technologies. And I'm using one figures from the US GBC. Actually, uh, China is rented number one in the world for seven consecutive years with new green buildings out of US. So we can see that there's a lot of new green buildings in China. This is the first one. Uh, the second one is to use uh, new building materials. Yeah, uh, low carbon emission, uh, like uh, materials, no energy cost. Yeah, 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 something like that. So that's one thing very important. And also new construction uh, technologies, for example, like the prefabricated module design. Mm -hmm. Because uh, if you do all the uh, construction in a factory, like a Lego, Lego blocks. Mm -hmm. So we use all that prefabricated uh, Lego blocks and then to assemble it on site will save at least 50 to 70% cost and time. If you can save cost and time, then you save energy mm -hmm. and with lower carbon emission. The third one is the green finance in China because in future there will be a lot of new construction and also refurbishment of mm -hmm. the existing buildings. Mm -hmm. So it evol involves a lot of um, investment in green buildings and re refur refurbishments. Mm -hmm. So. Green finance is also a very important part to become uh, the, the carbon neutral society in future. Mm -hmm. I'm glad that you mentioned about those three aspects. And I also wonder that does any of um, one aspect has already applied into Chengdu Chongqing area or even sure. if there's any like great examples you can <coughs> show to us. There are some characteristics in green finance in, in China. The first one is that more than half are issued by non-financial companies. And the major part, the major players are state-owned enterprises. Yeah, that, that's the, um, the situation now in, in China. And the third is um, actually the green bond used is more in the renewable energy, uh, the low carbon transportation, and for example, like the low carbon buildings. Um, what was pioneer in Chengdu Chongqing? I can mention two, two of them. Uh, one is the, in, in 2021 in Chengdu, a green CMBS, uh, commercial mortgage-based security, uh, which is a CITIC uh, Securities Chengdu uh, China Overseas International Center Green Asset Back uh, Special Program, was issued 
with the first carbon neutrality assessment certification. So this is the first um, green bond with a uh, green CMBS in uh, Western China and also in, in China. And the second one is uh, in Chongqing, also in 2021. The first uh, bond issued to uh, Chongqing Rail Transit, which is the first clean transportation bond in China. So um, because of the, um, the policy is supporting the growth of the Chengdu Chongqing uh, economic zone. So actually we have promoting or we are creating some innovative uh, green products or green finance products in our region.